Kumaga. Thanks for joining me at Phil Am Phil Fan Destination Philippines. I am here with Ate or Tita Sharon. Ate. Ate. Ate Sharon at Jesus is Lord Church, and she's agreed to be my first interviewee. So, Ate Sharon, where are you from in Philippines? Uh, I was born in Iloilo. Iloilo City. Mm -hmm. So it's Elonga, the dialect. Yeah, Elonga. That's what one of my titas says. She's she's a longa too. Longa. And yeah. then I was raised in uh, Manila. Yeah. Novotas, Manila. Novata, Novotas. Novotas. Yeah. It's near in Quezon City. Like on the border. Other... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, growing up in Manila, mm -hmm. near in Novotas. Novotas. What was your childhood like? Like, what what are some of your favorite memories? Yeah, actually, you know what we I. Usually we keep moving different places, yeah. but most of the places are squatters, squatter areas. Oh, okay. And you know, Navotas, it's near the sea. Okay, like so, by Manila Bay? Yeah, okay. Manila, yeah, Manila Bay. So, uh, it's, the, the place is really not, not really good. Yeah. And, yeah. and then I experience also to live under, you know, you will see place, places, the house, and then there's uh, water on the bottom. Really? Yeah. So you grew up pretty poor? Uh, not kind of? really, really poor because uh, my dad uh, went to uh, Saudi Arabia for eight years. And then that's the time that we, uh, you know, have money to rent a, a better place. Yeah. And then we moved to uh, Tagat Dagatan. I've never heard yeah, of that it's a, it's a place in English, water as well. Because those places before are water and then Marcos, the wife of Marcos Imelda, Imelda. made that as uh, a housing for people. So oh, like a public that, housing? Yeah, maybe it's like five miles away from Nabota. So, okay. Yeah. So your father was in, you said, Saudi Arabia? Yes. What did he do for work? Yeah, from when I was grade three to uh, uh, after, I, uh, after I graduated high school. So he, he is a welder. Oh, that's what I am. Yes. That's right. I'm a family of welders because I have I have five uh, four siblings, all uh, all boys. Yeah, all so brothers. I'm the only I'm the only girl in okay. the family. So all of the four are all welders. All right. See, that's Filipino craftsmanship right yes. there. Yeah. Uh, if I'm maybe a, a, guy, a guy, maybe I'm also a welder. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I heard that Filipino uh, women are make good welders. I, I know some uh, female welders, and they're good welders. Mm -hmm. So what were some of your favorite memories as a kid? Um, yeah, as I grow up, really, I don't have much good memories. No? Because, yeah, it's uh, because my, I don't have... The father uh, figure in physically, but right. you know, my I have, I'm the third uh, child, so I have, I'm the only daughter, so I'm the one who's doing most of the housework. So, mm. yeah. so I'm the not the apple of the eye, but in the other way around. Yeah, so sure. I work everything in the house as right. my mom is busy selling clothes for the ship, you know, shipyard. Uh -huh. th that place is near the water, so they have a lot of shipyards. Yeah, right, so of that's course. why a lot of welders there too, yeah. working, make, building a ship. Right. So, yeah, so I'm helping my mom and selling clothes and at the same time um, doing... Kind of oh, taking care yes, of the home yes, as well. Yes, All right. Yeah. When did you come to the States and did you come to Phoenix first? Yes. Okay. Uh, I came here because I ma married my husband. So I have three kids uh -huh. from previous relationship. And then um, I met my husband uh, 2008 in Singapore. And then 2010, I went to China, Shanghai, oh, really? to work. Because I became a single mom mm -hmm. when 2008. So 2010, uh, 2008, up on that uh, year I went to Singapore I met Dale my husband and then we are in contact email you know uh, yeah. so then uh, 2010 I went to Shanghai to work uh, then 2013 Dale and I uh, agreed to meet again in the Philippines so yeah. I went back to the Philippines and he as well so he, he met the whole family and the kids for the first time nice. I was thinking Oh, am I going to marry this woman? <laughs> Let's see. So, yeah, so 
then that that time then we we plan you know uh, we had a relationship yeah. but uh, when i went back to china because uh, there i i know the lord really i had a, a deeper relationship uh, with god when i went to singapore right. and first time i attended jesus is lord church in, in, uh, you know not singapore in china 2010. okay cool so because yes. uh the jil originated in philippines in philippines right yes. in case on their the main campus is case um, city no it's in bulacan that's okay. where the uh, brother eddie villanueva resides and then he donated also the land to the to the church. Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. we're building a, a, a church there. Yeah. And then it it, it was started in 1978, and then now it grows to different uh, countries yeah. all over the world. So. Yeah. My family, they all live in. Most of them live in Bulacan. Bulacan. So that's where I plan on going. So I already have a church there. Yes. That's nice. And um, so you've been married to your husband since you said 2000. 2014. Okay. So. Yeah. And has he gone to the Philippines with? Have you guys? Do you guys visit often? No, since we came here, we haven't back there yet. Really? Yeah, because if you go there, I know I heard people, ten thousand dollars is not gonna be enough for expenses. Because you need to go there in the beach and have yeah. fun, you know. And then your your relatives will expect you have money, <laughs> <laughs> so you need to like you know Filipino uh, culture. We are. Especially if you're in other country, they of course they expect you have a lot of money, yeah. and you need to give pasalubong. What's that? Uh, 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 you Welcoming know, some, gift. Kind yes, of? Some, something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they, especially in the provinces, if you right. go there, yeah. So you need to give a little bit of something. Yeah. So I need to prepare for that. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe God's willing next year. Good. God's willing. Yeah. yeah. Me too. I'm trying to go around this time next year. Wow. Uh, just. I was going to go during, uh, in 2020, my mom was off, she was told me she was going to, because I just got divorced, wow. and she was like, well, come, I'm going to bring you to Philippines, because she was going to go visit, mm -hmm. but then COVID hit, uh, so I couldn't go to the Philippines, yeah. and um, then, you know, just kind of my finances, and, you know, I was being a dumb dumb and bad with my money, so, but now, uh, with my new job, I should be able to save up enough money where I can uh, visit next year, mm -hmm. and then hopefully... I want to move in two years wow. and live there and I believe wow. I have work to do in God's name mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. There's the desire has been put in my heart. You know, wow. scriptures say that he will give you Desire. desires yeah. of your heart. Like yeah. saying he will put his desires yeah. in your heart True. to make them your own. Hey. And I believe that's what's happening. True. And you might be used in Philippines. I think I definitely the gospel. I think I definitely have work to do in the Philippines and I'm becoming more bold even just with my YouTube channel mm -hmm. to I'm gonna start you know, really go on that path of pushing the gospel, yeah. spreading it out, yeah. and um, I, you know, I want to head in that direction. Yeah. I believe that's what I'm to do. Yeah. And uh, so, do you guys plan on retiring in Philippines? Yes. Um, actually, um, we bought a land in Kamaya Coast. It it is in Bataan. Yeah. yeah you heard Bataan. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, it's only a land, but uh, in the future, gets willing after my husband will retire or maybe before the age of retirement uh, we would like to move there once the kids are settled like you know if they have their own job right yeah so then we plan on moving there so the thing there is there's no health care uh, they have health care they, they do but it's ex expensive yeah yeah so that's why i told my husband you need to take care of your health health is the with wealth so right so once we move there, then just the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, do your kids are they interested in ever going to Philippines? Actually, or? you know, I asked my kids, my my second one, well, my first son, my my eldest son, he's in a military and in service right oh, now good. in California. Good. So I don't think he will move there for right. good, right? So my second son, he said, when will go back to the to the Philippines? The life here is better. Yeah. You know? So once they're going to have their family here, I don't think they will right. think about moving back right. there. I don't know. But, yeah. but I think as a national Filipino, mm -hmm. you know, native Filipina, it's intrinsically inside of you to want to go back home. Yeah. I think with all people mm -hmm. from anywhere, any country, mm -hmm. eventually they all want to go back home. Mm -hmm. My mom, she definitely wants to go back yeah. home. 
Uh, some of my titas had, you know, lived in California and Seattle, and you know, they've all gone back home. And uh, I think, I think that's it's in us to want to return home. And uh, I love America, but I want to go be with my family in the Philippines because my family here, the white side of my family, they've rejected me my entire life. So. And my family in the Philippines, they've only met me once. Yeah. And now they're starting to see me on Facebook and now with my YouTube. And, you know, they show me a lot of love. So I want to be with the people that love me. Yeah. And, you know, I'm 40. I don't have children. I want to go and have, have yeah. a family in the yeah. Philippines. And I think I can do that there very yeah. easily with all the beautiful Filipino women there. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want to do it God's way. Mm -hmm. You know, I've taken a vow of celibacy until I'm married. There is no hanky panky for me. Mm -hmm. and, can I give you an advice? Oh, well. Find a godly one. Absolutely. With the, the one with the deeper relationship with, yeah. with God. Absolutely. Uh, I will not. And then everything will follow. Yeah, absolutely. I, I believe that just in the journey of me exploring, exploring mm -hmm. the Philippines, uh, you know, fellowshipping with my family and mm -hmm. just, just with my community, the right woman's going to come along. Yes. And, you know, God's going to tell me, no, you stay away from her. And if she's not a godly woman, if she's not willing to follow me in, mm -hmm. in my ways mm -hmm. of, you know, the Lord, if mm -hmm. she's not willing to go to the church that I pick yeah. for us, you know, if she's not willing to follow, uh -huh. she's not, you know, because, you know, in Titus, that what you read today, yeah. it, it read, the, yeah. it described the rules of, Amen. you know, conduct Amen. between men and women. Yeah. And um, I think mm -hmm. that's definitely... I know without a doubt that's the path I have to go. The confirmation. Okay. Absolutely. So, thanks for the interview. That was so Thank great. You. Thank you, Mark. And nice meeting you today. Absolutely. And thanks for joining us on Phil and Phil Fan Destination Philippines. God bless. Paalam po. Paalam.